This year's coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show was brought to you in part by Lenovo and their Legion Y720 Gaming Notebook. The Legion Y720 is powering all of the videos shot this year in Las Vegas. All right, guys, it's Keith once again, and yes, we're still outside the win over here in Las Vegas at CES 2018. We left the NVIDIA suite. You can catch that video up in the corner. It's either here or here, one other. Anyway, catch it in the corner. But we did go by the ASUS suite, and we didn't see a whole lot going on in there. They had some desktop set up, some laptops, but what we were primarily looking at is their bezel-free gaming kit or bezel-free monitor kit. Because if you've been into multi-monitor gaming for any length of time, you'll know that bezels are the bane of your existence. ASUS has come up with a way to eliminate that bezel using a light refracting bar on their their bezel kit. Now the catch right now is it's only supporting a single monitor and that's the ROG Swift PG258Q. Uh, but with that monitor it's actually really neat and it actually works. Now there's a few, few caveats, we'll go over those as we go through, but we've got some details here. According to them, we're looking at somewhere towards the end of Q2 for a launch, so you're not going to see it tomorrow or even in the next couple of months. We're looking at closer to like somewhere like a June release, I would imagine but they weren't able to get us any pricing. So we don't know the price on it yet. The gentleman we talked to was a little bit unsure what we were asking when we were asking for pricing. So we're not gonna divulge in what he said because it was not really that reliable. Anyway, what's really neat is the actual material that they made it out of, it's really flexible. So it's not a glass bar or anything that you have to worry about being really delicate with. Now, I wouldn't advise scratching it up, but installation and removal is really simple to an extent. The uh, catch is it has to be at 130 degrees. So you're going to have to have the monitor set up at a particular angle. So you're not going to, so you got to make sure you got the room for it on your desk. And these are 24 inch monitors that they were showing. Now, you are going to have to spend some time adjusting it. If it's off even the slightest, it's going to leave it looking really funny. The angles that which you view it are. Well, honestly, if you're sitting in front of it, it's perfectly fine. But if somebody else is watching you, it's going to look kind of funny because it blurs as you move off too far from the angles. And we did talk to them about support for other monitors as well as curved monitors. And they said it was possible, but it's going to take tweaking. And, of course, with like a larger monitor, they really just have to make it taller and make sure it widens it or shortens it based on the bezel width. But it's not a perfect solution, but it is a solution that we haven't seen. And I know what somebody out there is thinking. Keith, why don't you just get an ultra-wide gaming monitor and not have to worry about it? Well, the reality is an ultra-wide isn't nearly this wide. It's only a little bit wider than a normal widescreen monitor. But this offers something for people who are really into like race car simulators. I really wouldn't see it so much for first-person shooters, but definitely racing simulators. I did ask them about desktop use and using it in a normal day-to-day -day thing uh, application, and they didn't let us back out of the demo so that we could kind of see what that looked like. But I can imagine that that's going to be a little awkward because of you still got lines on the screen. You don't have bezels, but you still have lines. So it's really cool to see what they're doing here. And out of all the stuff that we saw at their suite, it was probably the most innovative and most exciting. Sorry about the horns in the background. Uh, couldn't go in the convention center because, again, it's out of power and we got kind of rushed out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next one.